Hey guys, David Fine here with Keys Mods, and today was the last day that I thought I was going to be filming a Keys Mods adventure episode because uh, we we're disposing of some, uh, some waste from our home and the only place to do it uh, on a weekday is to bring it all the way out to <laughs> way out west, as far west as you can go uh, in Broward County and, and Sheridan Street and 27, and there's a landfill there, the Broward County landfill. So I, I did that. But I actually took shorter than I expected. So as I'm driving home on 27, I see these little dirt, these little paths out here. And I just felt, hey, let's take 10 minutes and see what we can find. You never know what you're gonna find. It's winter, South Florida, uh, cold front. It's all the way down to a frigid 68, 69 degrees. Hey guys, up in the Northern States, don't hate. Late January, cold front, 68 degrees. Love you guys. But uh, we're gonna go down this path right here and we're gonna see what we can find. Let's see how we do. Check it out. All right, so we're gonna walk down this trail and just see what we can find, and we don't have a whole lot of time. Well, I see a zebra. And always, these canal sides are always great. These zebras are cool. There's our Florida State butterfly. Zebra longwing. All year long in South Florida, you can find that bug. <laughs> yeah, we're in mid-January here, so. He's going to their side. All right, let's see what we can find. Yeah, this trail seems to be Kind of an abandoned trail it must be maintained to some degree uh, because it's still open but there's a ton of exotics along here we got a bunch of uh that, that looks like a malaluca a bunch of australian pines uh, but man there sure are a lot of weeds in and around here that are butterfly attracting plants so it's always cool to just take a nice leisurely walk and see what you can find yeah, our temperature is probably upper 60s right now, maybe around 70s, uh, probably 68, 69 degrees right now. Gorgeous temperature for a walk. And uh, just about warm enough where some butterflies, oh, there's a golf artillery. He's, he has no problem with 65 degrees. <laughs> just about warm enough to have some butterflies come on out. White peacock? very cooperative when it comes to video, video and photography. He's got some miles on him there. These little Bidens, uh, if there's nothing else around all year long, these Bidens are out here in South Florida and these guys are the best for butterflies. I mean, vast majority of Florida's butterflies will readily visit those flowers for nectar and you can see in mid-January they're, they're not like totally, you know, flourishing, but they are, there are some blooms and just a few blooms is all that's needed in order to uh, find some bugs. And uh, it's a great plant, great plant. Here's another good one here. It's our, our native uh, porter weed. That's a good nectar source as well. He's a golf artillery. Common bug, but man, I love seeing these guys because they're bright fast and they can be found all year in South Florida. Cool bug. Let's see how close he'll let me get to him. Uh, that's probably the advantage of doing this in the winter. <laughs> hey Mr. Golf Artillery. What's going down man? Cool bug. Let's see if I can get a shot of his underside of the silver spots. If this was in the sun, those silver spots on the underside, they light up man.
Now, I'm about to try and show you guys one of the smallest butterflies around. Now, it's the three spot skipper, Comites tripunctus. All right, guys, here's a queen. Really light color in the, in the summer. They get a lot darker. And this is what the, actually the Viceroy mimics this butterfly down here in South Florida. The, the Viceroys are a lot darker and they mimic the queens instead of the monarchs where they, uh, the rest, pretty much the rest of the country, their the Viceroys are a lot brighter orange and they mimic the monarchs. But down here, since queens are, are more of a consistent uh, opportunity for mimicry, they've, uh, they they become a little darker and are able to um, mimic the queens instead. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool relationship there. A lot of horses. Zebras are everywhere, aren't you? Well, in the winter time, you gotta look for what you can in order to get some nectar source opportunities here for some bugs. And you know, these little, these little asters here could be a good one. Um, these little white flowers, any, any little tiny white flowers are typically great for hair streaks, um, blues, skippers, anything like that. Of course, your Bidens, your Bidens are always a good choice. Um, but you gotta think small when you're looking for butterfly nectar sources, the small flowers are are often really good. Like here's another good one here. This purple, this pink thing here. That's a pretty flower. And we've seen uh, white peacocks and buckeyes and things like that all over this little pinkish purple flower that kind of carpets the the floor here. It's a good nectar source. Man, this place is. Got a lot of exotic plants. Now those Australian pines there, they just decimate habitats. And big problem here in South Florida. You can see underneath where those trees grow, are, the, are those ospreys yelling at each other? Those hawks, those are hawks up there yelling at each other. Uh, but underneath those Australian pine trees, uh, when they drop those needles, nothing else will grow in that soil. I mean, not only do they choke them out because of how big they get and how fast they grow, but I believe that the needles create a chemical makeup in the soil that makes it very difficult for any other plants to grow. So they are a big problem here in South Florida. And I know that there's a lot of efforts to try and keep them under control. Here's a female Gulf artillery. She looks like she's having problems. You've been around the block a few times, lady, haven't you? <laughs> Got some wing-worn golf artillery. Yeah, there's a lot of horses out here, and uh, probably people that maintain this trail the most are horse people. And then white peacock. Oh, dragonfly just caught that white peacock. Oh, let's see if we can follow him. I think I even got that on film, guys. A dragonfly, big green dragonfly, just just caught that white peacock in midair. That was nuts. <laughs> it's a brutal world. All right, here's another common little Florida bug. This is Eurema diara, uh, the dainty sulfur, I believe it's called, or the barred sulfur. I believe that's actually the name. Common bug. They feed on a little pencil plant, and he is just floating around. Or actually, she's just floating around. And she's the nectar on these Bidens, of course. But you know, she doesn't want to cooperate. And here she comes. Oh. All right. This is Bard Sulfur. Aren't you cute? We've got that bright yellow inside and the uh, little bar there, the black bar, which they get their name for that goes in between the uh, bottom of the forewing. There she is. Cool bug. 
They can be abundant if you go just walk around certain in the grasses where their host plant lives. That can be one common bug. But oh, all right, she's letting me cooperate. Cool deal. Awesome. Uh, Lantana is always a good one to have around. These Lantana uh, flowers get visited quite often by a pretty wide variety of butterflies. So, um, not a whole lot of it around here. It's just one plant I saw. Nothing on it, but it is a good one. All right, here's another decent nectar source. And of course, our host plant for our monarch butterfly. They may love to use it. This is our, our uh, milkweed down here. I believe it's an exotic, but uh, boy, bugs sure love it. I don't see any caterpillars or any eggs. Oh, yeah, there's some eggs. Let's see. There's a nice little egg right there in the bottom of the leaf don't see any caterpillars there's some more of it growing down here and there's another looks like oh, the eggs are getting parasitized Now you see the you see this monarch egg here. All the eggs on this plant, they are not supposed to be that color. Um, these are parasitized by um, little little egg parasitic parasitic wasps, and at times those can be a, a true pain when, you, especially when you're trying to raise stuff. So there's a white egg. That's the color. This is the color that they're supposed to be right there. They're not supposed to be black. Trichogramma is the name of the wasp that parasitizes eggs. They are tiny. A zebra. Floating a couple zebras. There's quite a few butterflies out here. Oh, there's a monarch. Let's see how close. Well, the, oh, not very close. And Mr. Monarch floating away. And there's another monarch. Here's a female monarch. She's probably the one that's peppering those plants with eggs. And she's landing. Yep. It wants nothing to do with me. I don't blame you. Zebra. Another monarch. Okay, you know, you guys now know why these monarchs are here. You've seen the host plants there. There's our boy uh, queen. Love their slow gliding flight. They get a couple flaps in and they just glide along. Yeah, they just glide along. I'm following you. That's right. I'm following you. <laughs> they don't go too fast. They just glide along. Cool bug. All right, so our queen's difference, you'll see the little black dots on the base of the hind wings. Those are the male antraconial organs there. And they use those to emit pheromones uh, during courtship. But females lack those little black spots. And that's the big way to tell them apart. And even though this is their larval host plant, it also makes a wonderful nectar source as well. Good day, Mr. Queen. Here's the little pencil weed 
that the barred sulfur feeds on. It's like in the pea family. Got little yellow pea flowers on it. Pretty cool. Yeah. Fritz. Fritz liked this little this little purple thing. They enjoy that. Oh, there's a skipper. There's a checkered skipper. Looks like a tropical checkered skipper. Pyrgus oileus, how well are you going to cooperate, Mrs. Skipper? There she is, oh, there she goes. They're fast, boy. They like to land on the gravel. And let's see, that's a good camouflage deal for them. Let's see how close she'll let me get. Move kind of slow, you can typically get kind of close, it's about as close as you want to get. Cool! Wow, we got seven species of butterflies in about 10 or 12 minutes. Very, very good ratio. Um, we got what we got our monarch, we got our queen, golf artillery, zebra, uh, we saw white peacocks, we saw tropical checkered skippers, and our three spot skippers, and we saw that little white peacock just get taken out by dragonfly in mid flight. Uh, not bad for. Um, you know, about 15 minutes on a little trail here in South Florida. Guys, uh, let's get out there. Uh, enjoy South Florida. Um, even in late January during cold fronts, 68 degrees, there's bugs flying, it's sunny. Uh, grateful to be down here. Um, guys, we would love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications because when you do, you'll get all of our upcoming videos and we've got some great ones coming out. We're doing some Wacky Worms life cycles. We're documenting the Malachite butterfly, the Ruddy Dagger Wing butterfly, White Peacock, the Viceroy, all those bugs are coming up, plus a few of our cool Wacky Worm moths such as the Pluto Sphinx and the Ello Sphinx. So guys, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, and when you do, you'll get notified when we put these videos out. Uh, but thanks for watching. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Take care.